Baby beavers have been born in urban London for the first time in over 400 years. I'm going to read into this more from the Positive News uh, Outlook. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan really Elite here for another good news, good vibe story. And this one I got for you today is a really, really nice one, especially if you love animals. Who doesn't love animals? Love wonderful creatures. And beavers! I'll be talking a bit about beavers because beavers have breathed in London. Yes, this. Um, it, it was also shared from the BBC News, uh, BBC uh, shared, shared video footage of it as well which is pretty awesome and um which is uh it's really lovely to see um to see um wildlife growing in somewhere where over 400 years uh there has not been uh beavers here but yeah for the first uh first time in over 400 years uh an extraordinary um extraordinary thing it's it's always good it's good it's good because we always hear so much negativity about obviously Animals possibly going extinct, their numbers being reduced because of obviously what's happening with the climate and whatnot. So to see an opposite, this opposite end of beavers being introduced to an area and actually being able to breed um, is a very, it's a great thing. Now, obviously, we still have an issue in in the UK, obviously, when it comes to uh, in the environment and whatnot. But still, um, which I'm sure that at some point will get cleaned up in the future. But still. This is a great, a great story and great news indeed. So let's read a bit more into it. So, at least uh, two kits have appeared just eight months after the pioneering reintroduction of the family be of the beaver family to West London. So their birth marks the end of more than 400 year absence of breeding beavers in urban London. And at least two new kits born in the spring appear to be thriving. Announced the organisers, organ, or organisers at the Ealing Beaver Project this week. In what's been called a huge advancement in urban re rewilding, the successful reintroduction of beavers to London, and now the birth of the kits is the fruit of a collaboration between multiple organisations and bodies. The babies have been spotted venturing outside their lodge in recent weeks in what is a publicly accessible site in Paradise Fields, a wetland in Greenland, West London. Beavers used to uh, used to be permanent residents in the capital before hunting, habitat destruction, and persecution led to a loss of the species throughout the UK. Their arrival shows that humans and wildlife can thrive side by side in urban environments, said Dr. Saul McCormack, the license holder at the Ely Beaver Project and chair of the Ealing Wildlife Group. I had every confidence our beaver family would settle in Paradise Fields, but to discover that they had new babies kits this spring is really icing on the beaver cake, he said. They, these are not a wildness species, they are an important animal and once lived alongside up and down the country and welcoming them back. Even into our towns and cities, it's the right thing to do. We may need to learn to live alongside them again and sometimes manage their behaviour, but the ecosystem they provide has been clearly uh, demonstrated here at the Ealing Beaver Project. Water quality has improved as a result of the reintroduction, he said. Fl uh, flooding has reduced and more insects and other wildlife has already been attracted to the site. That's a good sign as well. The project is a collaboration between Ealing Wildlife Group, Rewilding Organisation Citizen Zoo, the Friends of Horseton Charity and Ealing Council, with the support of Beaver Trust and the Mayor of London, with the funding from the Rewife, Rewild uh, London Fund. The London Mayor City Khan told Positive News that he was delight delighted at the news. He was a privilege to be involved in the autumn release of the beavers at Paradise Field last year, and it was fantastic to see humans and wildlife thrive side by side with this family growing so quickly, he said. We are facing climate and ecological emergencies worldwide, but we have the power to make a difference and I'm committed to ensuring that London is at the forefront of the rewilding revolution as we work to re-establish lost species and reconnect people and nature. <clears throat> Absolutely. And this is what we want to see more of this. This is definitely what we want to see more of this, guys. Something of a beaver baby boom that seems to be taking place across Britain this summer in spots where the species have been extinct for centuries. New kits have emerged in Carragom in Scotland, in Canterbury in Kent, and in Wallington Estate in Northumberland following various reintroduction projects. While beaver dams have multiple environmental benefits, they can block drainage channels and stigmatise uh, salmon migration, meaning farmers and fishers aren't always uh, armoured at their presence. Back in London, it was in October 2023 that a family of five Erosion uh, beavers was first released at Paradise Fields. 
after a special license was granted by Nash National in Natural England. The animals were relocated from wild populations in Scotland uh, by experts at Beaver Trust and Five Sisters Zoo. It was the first project of its kind in the UK with the beavers reintroduced to an urban setting on a site that's fully accessible and open to the public. Within eight months, those from the project say that the family had settled in, built lodges, dams and new waterways. The thriving beaver family at Paradise Fields could be used as a blueprint for, for further beaver reintroductions, not only in London but around the UK. Guided tours and around the site will offer an insight into the beaver activity and environmental changes caused by their presence, though members of the public are being urged to respect the animal spaces. Yeah, of course. Paradise Fields is a 10-acre site made up of woodland, wetland and meadows and is part of a wider 100-acre Horsham and Hill green space lying to the south of the Grand uh, Union Canal. A tributary of the Costons Brook flows through it, which uh, joins the River Bent and later the Thames. The beaver enclosure covers most of the site, spanning eight acres in total, which experts said is enough room for comfortably supporting two to three beaver families. Already, the beavers have created six dams, allowing the site to hold more water, releasing it slowly after periods of high rainfall. Experts will keep a close eye on the progress, studying the site as its flood risk uh, migration capacity. Mitigation, sorry. More complex wetlands and wet woodlands have been created by the animals, noted McCormack, leading to an influx of wildlife including amphibians, bats, dragonflies and other insects and birds. The project is led by community groups and their volunteers with all revenue currently coming from ecotourism and donations. And anyone who would like to contribute uh, to the ongoing projects, they can donate here. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, link, I'll leave a link for the description if you want to donate there as well, guys. But this is, um, it's always good to hear these uh, stories, especially reintroduction of wildlife in areas it's always a nice thing to see and um yeah i maybe i'll make uh maybe me myself and my partner at one point we'll make a trip down there just to see if we can see the beavers ourselves um i think it would be awesome to to potential to awesome to do if we can if we can at one point because obviously we live we live in we live in london anyway so it would be wonderful to see them see see it for ourselves but uh yeah very very happy for them and uh hopefully and like it said there the reintroduction in other other parts of the uk is also a great sign as well and uh well done to all the all the communities and projects and uh, organizations that are make that are making this happen um to protecting our wildlife because um yeah if we if we don't if we don't go out of our way to look after them that we could lose them and i think it's really really important so uh fair play to the to all those involved in making this happen and other projects that are continuing guys it's a wonderful story but what do you guys think about beavers what do you guys make of the return of beavers to london obviously the reintroduction in other parts of the uk is obviously a very good sign as well how does it make you feel let me know your thoughts and more down in the comment section below if you found this video delightful informative helpful please hit the like button would greatly appreciate it share it across social media so others are not fire this video if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel. And thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to catch you all very, very soon.